Thank you, Your Excellency Honorable Prime Minister Scarit, Your Excellency Prime Minister Rowley, Your Excellency leaders of the Caribbean countries, Your Excellency Secretary General Cara Barnett, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Chinese government, I would like to extend warmest congratulations on the 50th anniversary of CARICOM and hearty greetings to all for your support for the development of China-Caribbean relations. CARICOM is the most important integration-oriented organization in this region. With the joint efforts of the regional countries over the past 50 years, CARICOM has stayed committed to independence, strength through unity, the common development, and actively promoted regional economic integration, has stepped up foreign policy coordination, culture and social development, and security cooperation, and has firmly safeguarded its members' common interests. CARICOM is now playing a unique and increasingly important role on the international stage. China salutes CARICOM for its hard work and applauds its achievement. We believe and hope that CARICOM will achieve even greater success in the next five, 50 years. China and the Caribbean countries have a long tradition of friendly exchanges. Our diplomatic relations are roughly as old as CARICOM. Ten years ago, President Xi Jinping paid a historic visit to Trinidad and Tobago and met with leaders of all the Caribbean countries having diplomatic relations with China and established the China-Caribbean Comprehensive Cooperative Partnership. And ever since then, we have seen made great achievements and accomplishments, and China-Caribbean relations has become a shining example of mutual respect, equality, mutual benefit, and win-win cooperation. China is pursuing high-quality development, expanding high-standard opening up, and advancing national rejuvenation through a Chinese path to modernization. And our modernization is about benefiting its huge population for over 1.4 billion, delivering common prosperity for all, achieving culture and material advancement, and peaceful development. Both China and Caribbean states are members of the developing world, and we share the dream of addressing all kinds of challenges and delivering better lives for our people. And during this process, China is ready to stand side by side with the Caribbean countries and remain each other's true and trustworthy friends and partners. China supports Caribbean countries in upholding independence and appreciates the commitment of friendly Caribbean countries to the One China Principle. We welcome more Caribbean countries to join the big family and usher in and benefit from a brighter future of China-Caribbean relations. And we are also ready to continue assisting Caribbean countries in economic and social development to the best of our ability. On the top of the two million yuan of contribution to China-Caribbean Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Fund last year, China will provide additional one million US dollars this year for disaster prevention and relief and withstands the special circumstances and concerns of small island developing countries and is ready to work with them to address fin financing difficulties, accelerate energy and climate transition and achieve green and sustainable development. President Xi has put forward global development initiative, calling for international attention to cooperation in areas such as poverty reduction, food security, development financing, climate change, and green development. These areas are highly compatible with the development needs of this region. And we are ready to work closer with Caribbean countries in this regard, make full use of the Global Development and South-South Cooperation Fund and the Global Development Promotion Center and also the Caribbean, China-Caribbean Development Center to help realize the vision set out in the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. China invites and welcomes CARICOM as a whole and the business of CARICOM 
countries to participate in the Six China International Import Expo to be held in Shanghai this November, and we'll be glad to provide policy support and facilitations to that end. Hope this will not only raise the image and the visibility of the Caribbean as a whole, but also help more Caribbean products to Chinese households. We would also like to hold the fourth China Caribbean Economic and Trade Cooperation Forum with the Caribbean soon. And we also welcome Caribbean participation in the sixth dialogue between the civilizations of China and the LAC to be held this year. We also support great exchanges and cooperation between our universities, think tanks, media, youth, women, and we welcome more journalists from the Caribbean region to visit uh, China. And uh, we would like to promote more Luban workshops in the Caribbean and expand cooperation on vocational education and training. Distinguished Caribbean leaders, celebrating CARICOM, the official son of CARICOM, goes, today as people united, determined and steadfast we stand, we look to a brand new horizon, the future now firms in our hands. Similarly, there is a household song in China called Unity is Strength. It's through unity that the Chinese people have emerged from poverty and are now moving towards prosperity. It's also through unity that CARICOM at 50 has achieved great success and holds out bright prospects. We are convinced that as long as China and the Caribbean countries strengthen our unity and cooperation, we can surely build an even stronger China-Caribbean community with a shared future and usher in an even bright future for our relations. Thank you.